Howdy folks, Elkrex here, just doing an update, seeing what's going in the future here and what's currently on the painting table. Alright, you see some Battletech stuff that is going to be painted up here in the next week or so. Uh, we have an assortment of stuff that's been painted before or some stuff that, well, it's all going to get repainted. So let's just delve into it. So we're going to have some brown, uh, if you remember some of my older videos I've done. Uh, where we had the brown and green uh, mechs. So this is going to be the part of this company. And then we have the green um, and brown mechs. Well, this would be part of that company. So, uh, all right. So we're going to have a couple bulldogs that we're going to be done. So they're going to be, I still have to put some wash on them and then bring out all the highlights on them. We've got a couple of Bulldogs, a couple of Shreks going to be done. Now all of these are lead. I mean lead, actual lead. So they are very heavy from way back in the day. We're talking old stuff. Uh, we've got an LRM carrier here. We got two of the LRM carriers. We got a couple of Rommel Pattons. So either with an AC10 or an AC20. I prefer the AC10 version myself, just because you can shoot farther with it. You actually, do more damage. I feel like I do more damage with the AC10 than I do with the AC20. Even though the 20 has a tendency to really smack, put the smack down on somebody when they get hit, but you have to get it in close before you even do anything. We got a couple of Von Lechners. These guys are pretty nice. They do have the AC20 on them and some LRMs on them, SRMs, for doing some good work. I love these things. So basically, all you're seeing here are all the kind of mechs, or not mechs, but uh, vehicles I love putting as my heavy hitters on the battlefield. It's like we had the video the other day with the Scorpion. And this will be the uh, follow-on stuff. These are the guys the scorpions are flank used for flanking. Uh, a couple demolishers. I got a whole bunch of demolishers. They're just adding more to it. And this will be... Well, I got two AC-20s on them. And I have a couple of those. Pretty heavy. Big chunk of lead. Now... Some of the stuff back here is some of the uncommon stuff that most people don't see very often. Uh, we got a couple Pumas. Uh, the Puma is has, this is like a PPC on top. It's got a couple medium laser, a couple LRMs on them. And they uh, pretty much do a good job of just hammering stuff they're big heavy mech uh not mechs but vehicles star league stuff so i don't know if you yeah i think you have to have the star league book to find these guys i don't know if they are in any of the new books uh, i got an old couple lead pikes they have three ac2s on them they're pretty decent little guys uh, for doing some long range uh sniping and some Antos. These things don't get used too often, but if I want to get around to doing a vehicle description of these things and one of the uh, thoughts from the inner sphere, we'll talk about this and what I like to do with them actually to make them a little bit decent. For uh, it's like there's these are the old lead versions. They're supposed to have. Um, like a bank of SR, or not SR, but um, so it carries what? Eight? I think it's eight medium lasers on this thing. And yeah, I usually don't run that many myself. So, and then uh, these are the Thors. You're probably looking at this. If you ever look at the front cover of the old uh old old uh book of uh, the what book is it let me got it here someplace it's the 20 yeah it's a 2750 book the old star league book it's on the front cover 
one with the Hussar. And this thing is a thumper. This is artillery. It's on a wheeled vehicle with thumper artillery with a couple. And it's got a little turret on top that can pop up above terrain and shoot over terrain with a little turret with a couple medium lasers. A very interesting looking vehicle. You don't see them very often. And the only person I've ever seen field these things is me. So, there you go. And if you do have some, you know, you're probably one of, in the, one of the minorities that ever use the darn things. And then we got a couple marksmen's. Uh, these are interesting artillery piece. Uh, this has a big artillery piece on here with a large laser and a turret off the side right there. And they work pretty decently for laying down long range firepower. So what put down an artillery barrage. So I'm gonna go through with all these right here. I probably I'm right now I'm thinking all these all the green ones are gonna be camouflaged probably like these guys are. I'm gonna do this can camo scheme on them for my vehicles with that and then these are going to be the browns and green colors or they might be tiger stripe let me hang a second i'm back all right this is a tiger striped banshee I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm thinking maybe of doing that. That kind of tiger stripe or camouflage scheme with those guys. So, so we'll have two different colors to differentiate the two companies apart. Because I got a whole bunch of stuff that's camouflage. I just want to bring these guys up to speed and then start a new company. So there you go. If you got any questions, put them down below and like and subscribe, and we'll talk with you later.